today's tutorial topic basic understanding and ways on how to deal with life's major stresses major big stresses for real validation through this topic please focus only on the content kindly ignore my lagunas in pronunciation tone expression accent grammar my looks and even this video's background for the content of this video please ask and if you need tips on any specific topic please let me know claim your free session which also includes couple of mandatory pre work designed to create your future blueprint of action in the areas of personal and professional growth relationship moving on after setbacks breakups failures startup business startup and business success and upscaling overcoming business professional and personal challenges with absolutely no string attached kindly subscribe to this channel and please like the videos which adds value to you plus share this message as well as the videos you like with your near and dear ones to avail please email on the email id given on either of our websites successunlimitedmantra.com and relationshipandhappiness.com now coming back to our topic there are 15 plus basic understandings on and ways on how to deal with life's major shockers rockers and shakers which causes big stress in our life now these are simple and brilliant way to relax and distress and unwind yourself the type of stress the definition of stress and the content of stress have not only changed in many ways but also have become more complex and complicated in this post ongoing corona covid-19 world for many of us this new type of stress has now become an integral part of our daily existence and it can also probably be called the new normal for few of us like we get daily doses of stress in various forms and from many directions we also need to learn and incorporate and practice consciously the various relaxing and coping techniques while using many different ways and tools to unwind and calm our emotions nerves mind on daily basis because all of us are unique human beings and our stresses are unique to ourselves therefore the antidotes that each of one of us need for de-stressing two are different there are no one size fit all or methods which work for others would work for you in minimizing and managing our day to day stress the tips i have given here are here uh, for you to try and to test and to experiment with to find what works for you and also to create your own methods should these method give you improved ideas because i have found that many popular methods did not work for me so i experimented till i found something working likewise you too have to go through similar grind in this video we will not be discussing stresses or how the stress gets created only how to manage our daily stress more effectively and better here in this article Uh, we will be focusing on how to do it yourself methods all you have to understand that there are many situation and circumstances where we need expert medical professional help this video will be in two parts this is the first part now there are two major categories of stress the first category are the big shockers this includes the events incidents and happenings which impacts our lives in kind of irreversible ways and disrupts everything these could be the death of the most loved one paralyzing illnesses or accidents separation or divorce from the person you are deeply attached with total financial ruin betrayal of major nature losing a job and not finding employment for long etc the second category is of our everyday upsets and stresses those triggers anxiety anger stress like fight with your partner your child or your boss or some kind of failure or anxiety about future about yourself and your children etc like i always maintain that when you are in the actual roller coaster and going through the big stress causing situation no technique or method will work as you won't remember or would be in the mental emotional or physical state to apply them unless you have mastered them as subconscious reflex and auto reaction 
All this technique will be useful in bouncing back and bringing yourself to better emotional resourceful states. As per what works for you. After you have tested and retested re them in various situations and people. And they work only when you practice them enough to make them your nature. Now, 15 plus basic understanding and ways on how to deal with life's major shockers, rockers and shakers, which causes big stress in our life. First, understand that the only antidote for stress, depression, bouncing back is taking action. All, also, you need to understand that all of us can take actions only when our stresses are removed and we are out of the initial shock and our mind has started feeling pain and started thinking about that disruptor. The following 15 plus tips should give you lots of ideas. These ideas you have to start using in everyday life till they become part of your reflex action. First, never try to ignore, suppress or deny the pain, the hurt, the anger, the shock or any such emotion when you are feeling. Second, when we feel these painful emotions fully, only then we would be able to get over and move on with our lives. Identify your emotions and accept that you are going through these emotions. Let yourself break down, cry, scream if you feel like it. Never put a false bravado by believing that brave doesn't cry. The truth is only brave can cry. Yes, in cases all others who are impacted by this stressful situation are not able to manage themselves on their own and you are the only one who can help them then control your feelings at that moment. To divert your attention to pe the people who need your caring approach. You can grieve simultaneously while helping others as helping others is also a great therapy. We have to understand all of us grieve differently and we have our own mechanism and pace to bounce back and to move on whether it is death or separation from a loved one, financial ruin, sudden job loss, discovering a serious illness for yourself or a loved one or any such serious thing. Once you have kind of come to live with the loss, then it becomes the time for adjusting and creating the new future or new normal and moving on. Now, there are six focus areas to introspect when you are calm enough. Sit alone, meditate to identify what changes have taken place in your life after this incident. What remains same? How these new changes will impact your plans and future? What you need to change within yourself and your habits and perceptions and expectations? Identify your new priorities. What type of future you would like to have? This is something that you have to spend a lot of time, many, many times on a regular basis, as this will keep changing. Now, there are six action steps for future. First, your new priorities and focus. Second, your new vision and how to accomplish them. Third, new habit formation, because you need to create new habit and let go of few habits. Getting rid of older habits. Acquiring newer skills. Implementing, improvising and persisting till you start on path of regular accomplishments of milestones towards what you are looking for. Please understand that if you are unable to come to have hold over your grief, loss, shock, anger, hurt, to function normally, even after say 9 months, it is time to seek expert professional help. Because if you seek help now, you would be able to